Welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video, we are going through how to get a crazy legendary armor. And this one is actually quite tough to, like, progress to this point. You can do it from the very start, but, I mean, there's a big quest involved unless you want to take the boss route. So if you've built up your stats, if you're willing to play co-op and all that sort of stuff, or if you've got the patience to take down a boss by yourself, then absolutely go for it. This armor is insane. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can get your hands on this. But before we get any further into the video, if you're not currently sub to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get into it. So taking a look on the map, we are all the way up in the capital, up at Oriza Hero's Grave. And what I'm going to do is show you guys exactly how to get there. But what I'll do is show you mainly map locations, unless one of the paths is really confusing and difficult. So, coming down to Stormhill Shack, most of you will know this by now. But what you do from Stormhill Shack is we are going to jump on our mount. We're going to head north. And as soon as you see the dirt path split off to the right, so it's here. You come on this path, follow it all the way to the end. Then when you get to the end of the path onto the bridge, go all the way to the end of the bridge. And what you want to do is make your way down there onto that grassy section. Go up there to the left into that like little cavern thing and go round to the right. Then follow that all the way around and you will make your way to Lake Facing Cliffs. So from Lake Facing Cliffs, if you follow the main road all the way round and come down here, you'll get to Leonia Lake Shore. So from Leonia Lake Shore, jump in the water, go all the way to the very, very top. You will come to the ravine. From the ravine, keep going all the way up it until you get to the very top. And there are going to be lots and lots of different sites of grace that you can see. So I will go to the ravine because that's simply just making your way to the top of the massive like pond, whatever you want to call it. As soon as you get to the ravine, go all the way north until you get to the very, very end. You'll know the right section because there'll be a golden tree with a golden seed there. So I'll see you guys at that tree. Okay, so we've made it to the tree. You want to keep going past it. And you're going to see all of this wooden structure. But carry on, keep going and going and going. And right here where you see the ladder... This is where you are going to head up. So you'll have a sight of grace here. So what you want to do is make your way up the ladder. If you want to do the quest, like just keep climbing all the way up. If you want to do the quest and save yourself having to face a boss. Then what you want to do is from the ravine. You want to follow this, like hug the wall of this cliff. Come all the way around. And near this bridge, I think it's just on the other side of it. You are going to have a spirit spring. Jump up there, grab that uh, Sight of Grace, and then just follow the road until you get to the Grand Lift of Dectus. Then I believe there's a quest or something to get the lift to work, and it'll take you straight up to get yourself into the capital. So this section, there are going to be enemies. They'll probably hurt you if they get a hold of you, but you're not going to need to attack anything. Just keep climbing your way up. Run all the way through. You're literally just looking to get higher and higher. So over here to the left, we have a ladder. At the top of the ladder, we just keep running through. If we head round to the right, there is going to be an enemy, but I need to pull that lever. The elevator will be there instantly. It's just because I've used it before. So when you get to the top of the elevator, keep following it round. Go past all these enemies. And you want to come round to the left. After you've been through here, it's going to lead you up and out. And once you get here, come round to the right. Okay, so when you get to this elevator, don't forget to grab your Sight of Grace. Then we're going up on the elevator. Then we go up these stairs here. Ignoring all the combat unless it's absolutely necessary. Then just keep following the path. You're going to see another ladder in front of us. So up we go on this one. Just be careful with this because you will have a lot of bats up here. 
But from here, we are going to run all the way over here. And over in this corner, there's going to be a bat that's resting. It's going to wake up, probably attack you and poison you and stuff, but that's fine. There's going to be a sight of grace so we can get rid of the poison. Just keep an eye on your health bar. And I mean, you can wake it up beforehand, aggro it, get it to go away from the ladder, then go back. Watch out for these little weird ball things. And the bats to come down. Make your way to the next ladder. And right here, you're going to have a little ritual going on. What you need to do is kind of aggro all of these. The elevator will be here for you straight away. But because I've used it, it's not there. So after you dealt with the... Like, I had to deal with the bat that followed me up. You should be alright. It didn't happen to me the first time I come up here. But there's a sight of grace at the top of the elevator. Then, at this section, there is going to be a boss. I'm not going to ruin the boss and tell you what it is, but you have to defeat it. I used the summoning pool, called some players in for co-op. We took it down on, like, the fourth attempt. I don't know why, but it seems as though the further you get into the game, or, like, the further around the map you get, the, like, less summoning signs you're going to see on the floor. Once you defeat the boss, there's going to be a sight of grace. Rest there to register that one. Then come up here at the back and there is going to be an elevator. But then you're going to stand on it, go all the way up. And I mean, this one takes forever. I'll see you guys at the top. So upon reaching the top, we're going to jump on our mount. We are now in Altus. Over to the left, you've got a site of grace. Rest at that. Then just follow the path northeast. Keep going all the way. Grab all the loot and stuff on your way if you can. I don't think I grabbed that item again. This is the second time I've been here now. Watch out for the big dragon dude. Yeah, he's going to drop down. Just head to the right-hand side. Keep dashing on your mount and you should be alright. You should not take any damage. you got to remember it's a beefy dragon. It's going to be incredibly slow. But carry on. Follow the path all the way round. Then there's going to be another Sight of Grace. Also, Golden Tree, grab your Golden Seed. There are a few of them up here, and some of them actually have two seeds around, which is nice. Then jump back on your mount, and head all the way east. Go through this, like, army camp, whatever you want to call it. So just keep going and going and going and going. Get all the way through. And then we are just going to follow this main path. But it starts leading you southeast. Then you're going to get onto an actual, like, main, main path. There we go. So stick to the left as much as you can. Then kind of just zigzag all the way up here. Be careful of these enemies. Keep going all the way to the top. Just don't stay in a straight line. Then at the top, you're going to have two, uh... Two lovely tree sentinels. So you've got to try and get your way around them. Come through the door. They will start to follow you through, but there's a sight of grace just here. I believe this is the first golden tree that's going to give you two seeds. So make sure you rest, reset the aggro. You saw the, uh, you saw the tree sentinels there get very pissed off. There is a map fragment here, so as soon as you leave this site of grace on the east side of it, grab that map fragment, it's going to reveal the whole of the capital. Then what we're going to do is go straight up here, so you're heading north, a little bit northeast from the site of grace that you've just got. That one is the outer wall phantom tree. So just carry on, making your way up, you're going to get this flying thing that comes in, just go to the right hand side, dash, go straight past it. It won't stay out road for too long. It doesn't really follow you. When you get to the top of these stairs, you're going to grab your two golden seeds off this tree. And then they keep heading north. But when you get up to this little rock formation in front of us, jump over. There's going to be another site of grace. So interact with that one. I'm just going to rest for the sake of resting. I can also tell you the name of it. 
It's called Outer Wall Battleground. So going on the map, we've just come from Outer Wall Phantom Tree all the way up to Outer Wall Battleground. Now what you're going to do is head east through the battleground. If I remember correctly, there's a level 7 golden rune up here as well. So keep coming over here all the way to the stairs. Make your way up the stairs and then what we're going to do is place a beacon just so it's easier to see. I was going to say find. But where there's a split in the road, we're going to head down here. And then as soon as you get to the beacon, do it right. So down we go. What you're doing from that split in the road is just going southeast. You'll see a massive like gap in between the cliffs. Go straight through. As soon as you get through here, what you need to do is head to the right hand side because there's uh, very angry bears over there. And then you arrive at the grave. So what you're going to do is open the door. That door will be closed. Stand on this elevator. Go down and in front of you there is a sight of grace. So when you get to this site of grace, all you're going to do is run forward, round to the right hand side, down the stairs. Then when you get to here, keep heading west all the way down, but stick to your left hand side. The big chariot's going to spawn in. Massive thing. Hide in this little, like, cove bit, whatever you want to call it, and then keep running down. Stick into the left hand side. And then what we're going to do is drop down. Go straight forward. Up the stairs here, round to the right. And then, when you get to the end of here, go fairly close to that plant, and then just back up a little bit. That's going to spawn in a chariot. If you don't go far enough, the chariot won't spawn in. It'll ruin the entire thing. You might as well kill yourself, go back to the site of grace, and start again. So, just... Make sure that you're on the left-hand side after the right one's gone. Like, you basically switch. Then wait here, because another one's going to spawn there. Start coming down. As soon as that one turns around, you have to get this right. Nailed it. So now you've got a break for a second. So drop down onto there. This is so bloody risky. Scary and everything. Pick up that holy grease, because you know we all want that. So after you've dropped off the first bit, what you're going to do is line it up to drop onto this one here. It's just all about your accuracy. So then go all the way to the edge of this. Try not to fall off, it's an absolute ball ache. When you get here, you're going to drop onto the lower beam. If you don't get these almost central, you will fall off them. Ignore that. We're not going that way. We are going to drop down again. There is a skeleton at the end. So what you do is when you get to here, you're going to go and switch on to the other side. And then you're just going to make your way all the way along. Avoid the skeleton, up this ladder we go. So when you get to this section at the top of the ladder, just keep running through. And a chariot is going to spawn. It's going to go down. We're going to wait for it to come back up, wait for it to go back down. So I made it to the ladder section again. It's an absolute nightmare doing this because there are no checkpoints whatsoever. As soon as that goes down, run up, head over to your right. So at this stage, what you want to do is you want to go into the room with the little fire pillar and you want to stab it so the fire leads out of the room that you like the way you've just come in. Stay in the room until that chariot is destroyed. Then what you want to do is make your way all the way down that ramp Head to the left, go past the two skeletons, then take your first left again, up the stairs, onto that elevator. The way I got my armor to drop, I'll show you quickly, then we'll get back to this. When you get to the top, there is going to be more fire on a pillar, 
And that fire is going to be heading in the direction that's furthest away from you. Leave the fire going that way, but stand right next to the pillar. And then as soon as the fire stops, you're going to head through the corridor that the fire is heading down. Pop into the little cove bit on your right hand side. Then time it again, get to the end and turn left before the fire starts again. Then what you can do is jump down, kill the skeleton, and as you kill the skeleton, that chariot is going to be going up and down, and a ray of light that comes out of the fire pillar for you facing it in the right direction is going to destroy the chariot. When the chariot gets destroyed, that's how you are rewarded your armor. Then all you do from that point is just make your way back up and out of the area, back to the site of grace, and then up and out of the cave itself, into the open world, with your brand new sentinel armor set. So here we go, outside, lovely weather. I've now got the full twin armor set on, as you can see it, lovely. Now if we go back into the equipment, and we have a look at the stats. Twin helm, 5.1. This is 8.1, you're gonna need a lot of endurance for this, your equip load's gonna have to be huge. But if you look at the stats, besides vitality, it's better in every way. Then into the actual armor, it goes from 13.7 up to 18.9, which puts me up to a heavy load. But if you look at the stats, besides vitality, is better in every way. Then the same with the gauntlets, from 3.9 up to 6.3. Jesus Christ, you need so much endurance. And then with the legs, it goes from 7.3 up to 11.7. But you are now going to be able to withstand a shit ton more damage. Your damage negation is going to be huge. You can also get a shield to go with this. So if you've got 30 strength and 12 faith, 14 dexterity, you can use a golden halberd. And uh, yeah, you're going to look like an absolute badass. Then you can also get the shield that goes with it. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing I can do about the load at the moment. I'm going to have to keep it heavy. But if you have a look at this armor, look how fucking cool that is. Let's go away from this area. Look at it. Just look at it. I'm so happy to have this set. And I mean, it's taken me three hours to get my hands on it, trying to figure everything out. Because the videos and stuff that I've watched haven't given any directions at all. They don't explain. They just start their videos outside the grave. And it's like, well, how do I get there? And you've got two choices. You can either make a load of progress in the game and do quests and stuff, or kind of cheese it and take down that uh, boss that I spoke about. So let's go get hit by this guy. Yeah, rolling's not going to be great. But let's have a look. Oh my god, is that all he does? So I'm just a really heavy, bulky character. I'm not going to be able to roll out of the way, but I'm going to be able to negate a lot of damage. In comparison, very quickly before we wrap this one up, it's been really, really long, but I've had to explain it all to you. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of people that don't understand it. As I said, I spent hours making my way up to that fucking grave. It was a nightmare. But damage negation for physical damage, 6.8 on the helmet, 18.7 on the armor, 4.7 on the gloves, and then 10.8 on the legs. And comparing that to the twin, that's 4.1 better. And then royal remains, it's a load better. And then your standard samurai is actually 10.7 damage negation better. So, that was a look at how to get your hands on the Tree Sentinel armor set in Elden Ring, and I'm so happy to have that one done. That is going to wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.